of decimal number how do you find out the square root of a decimal number okay we all know that you know in case there's a decimal or something suppose you have mm, let's say the square root of 12.25 how do you find out the square root of 12.25 now we saw that for larger number the bars are the most easiest way to find out the square root and the concept of bars was that step 1 we pair them equally please note that in case of decimals the pairing has to be separate for the numbers appearing after the decimal and the numbers appearing before the decimal so here basically I have 12.25 as one pair I'll just remove this okay and I have 12 as another pair so again for 12 I need to find out a number which when multiplied by itself gives the number lesser than 12 which is 9 I subtract 9 from 12 I get 3 here I multiply 3 by 2 so I get 6 here okay now after 12 there is a decimal so I put a decimal here again which is the number which I use here and here that will give me I drop down this 25 here the next pair this will give me 325 now we know that there is a 5 at the units place so this number can only be 5 because 5 when multiplied by 5 will give you a number whose n number is 5 so 65 times 5 will give you what 5 32 hence the square root of 12.25 is equal to 3.5 in these cases the important thing to note here is where should this decimal come in the decimal is basically the most important part because otherwise if you have to find out the square root of 1225 you know it how to do it but when it becomes 12.25 the important thing is where does the decimal goes now suppose if instead of this you had 12.251 how would you do the pairing again as I said the pairing has to be separately done for the numbers and separately for the decimals now the easiest way is that I can add a 0 here to make it 4 and then I do a pairing of this and I do a pairing of this and then it becomes easier for me to kind of work out on this number always try to make this decimal digits as 4 2 or pair in number for which you can add 1 or 2 0 as you may like it and then you can solve it in the manner that we have discussed for this particular number 12.25